Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use um, uploading files as a knowledge source when creating Microsoft Copilot Studio agents. The One of the questions that some people ask is, what exactly is knowledge? And simply put, knowledge is data. The same way that we learn from books and movies and videos and all sorts of like hands-on um, information, uh, which is data, um, the same thing applies to the digital world. And so anything from websites and um, files is can be considered knowledge. It can be structured, meaning tables, anything that's on the table that it's, uh, it's structured, and then it could be unstructured, meaning anything that it's not in a tabular form, like PDFs, Excels, videos, audio, um, in such and such. So what is files as a knowledge source? Um, this is the ability to use any file that you have locally stored um, for Microsoft Copilot Studio agents to provide answers based on its content. So you can use files to um, build an agent in Copilot Studio so um, your end users have a conversation. Um, what is files as a knowledge source um, in a more detailed manner is unstructured data, so it's not tabular. Um, we can support over 15 types of files, and um, there's also a link like upload files as a knowledge source on Microsoft Learn, which is also uh, provided by VESA. Um, we can support files up to 512 megabytes and all the way up to 500 um, files um, nonetheless. So that's a lot of data that you can have in just one agent. So let's get started um, using a scenario, retail-based scenario. I'm going to shift between my um, PowerPoint and the actual um, environment. So I have here uh, my environment, Copilot Studio. Let's start building a new agent. So I want to say I want to build a retail agent that allows me to check on uh, home appliances. This is going to just this is just a simple instruction just to get Copilot to do started on building an agent. You can see on the right some of the configurations that's already in the work, and it's providing a name: home appliance assistance. I'm like, mm, how about retail assistant? You can see it processing soon. You will see here moving from agent to retail assistant one, uh, which you can then refine and then uh, we can create the agent. Now, this will take you to the agent. It's setting up um, the agent configurations. So you will see soon an overview page that walks you through the different um, points that you can configure the agent details, knowledge, actions, triggers, topics, starter prompts. But today, we're going to be focusing on the knowledge piece. Because it's a file demonstration, I'm going to disable the default AI knowledge um, just to make sure that we're fetching the data from the file itself and we can see that directly. Let's get started by adding knowledge. So you see here, you have public websites, SharePoint, Dataverse tables, and down below, you can upload files. And you can either drag and drop directly here, or you can select um, from, the, from your computer. I'm going to start with just Excel demo product catalog. Um, I'm going to add, you can see if you could add multiple files in one uh, go, I'm going to start one by one. Um, due to sake of time, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll use Word um, to upload multiple files at the same time, but we'll start with Excel. So here we have one row for our file, the name, and then the description, which is saying that this knowledge source searches information in this Excel. You click Add, it's uploading the file. And then soon you will see that it will be added to this knowledge section down below, which you see here. So there we go. We're adding the file to the knowledge to this agent retail assistant one. Now, one of the things I like to do is as I upload the knowledge source, I like going to the knowledge tab because it will just give you more information about the knowledge. And one of the things that you want to see is precisely this status, which shows that it's in progress. Now, what does this mean? Um, this means that we are looking or the agent is looking at the data that we have at the uh, within the file and we're indexing the data in order to more, be more easily searched. Um, and, then, and so the answers are have higher quality and it's easier to fetch or more efficient to fetch the right information um, depending on the, the prompt or the question that we're asking to the agent. Um, for clarity, let me look up at the data that we have here so we can see. 
for opening Excel. It's something that I couldn't do prior to upload because it, it like it doesn't uh, let you upload the document if it's open, which we want to make sure that it's the latest um, content that you have there. And it's a very you know simple Excel has product name, the categories, purchase pricing, and sell price. Um, and what I was talking about indexing is to say, okay, so how many times is the word laptop in this in this table? How many times is electronics or home appliances in this document? And it's 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 just a, another way to store information, so it's more easily retrieved, and we can rank the 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 answer to be tailored to the question that it's being asked. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's ready. We can start um, asking questions to Copilot. Let me refresh because this, now we've added knowledge source and it's always good to refresh data. So let's say, um, what are the products in the catalog? In the catalog? Retrieving. Includes a variety of products. Nice. And it's already um, sharing some of the of the laptops organized um, in electronics, home appliances, uh, gaming and entertainment, and photography and videography, which is great. Okay, let's let's ask another question. What is the selling price of a microwave oven, for instance? Microwave oven. Waiting. Oh, the selling price of microwave oven is $150. Oh, let's take a look. Microwave oven. Yep. Selling price, $150. Thank you. All right. Let's now um, add more knowledge to this. Um, let's see. I want to know what are potential discounts and uh, user manuals. So I'm, I'm, uh, for the sake of time, I'm adding multiple Word documents. Uh, which is a good feature but if you have multiple documents that you can upload to the agent. And then we'll take a look at the data that is inside of each Word document so we can see the differences and test the different scenarios here. So I'm adding, it's one for each row. And once it's um, added to the system and it's being indexed, I'm going to open those Word documents. Great. We've added, successfully added three documents. They're uh, being indexed. And so let's take a quick look at what this content has. All right. First, I'm going to start with this discount Word document. As you can see, Word document, um, uh, this only has this text, available discount images. And it's just a title or a heading in this case. The other things mentioned in this document, it's two images. So it's a good thing that you can actually use images inside of these Word documents or PDFs um, that you can leverage. Now, if I do Control F and I search for promotion, you'll see there are no matches whatsoever inside of this document from a text perspective. However, if I click here and I go to view all text, I did add it, a promotion that calls out 40% discount on microwave ovens. And the same thing for the dishwashers. Note the lovely design in these images. Um, so you have the alt text here, which allows to describe what these images are. Now, in the other two documents, they're the same thing, um, fairly just a mock-up data around dishwasher user manual and the microwave user manual. This is mostly just text, um, not mostly just text. Uh, what I Try doing here is making sure that I'm formatting the Word document, leveraging titles and headings, heading one, heading two. And this is just helps structure a little bit more the data so you can identify what is the content priority um, to, to organize the data. It's like putting data into drawers so it's easily fetched and just more organized. All right, we can close here or minimize. Let's take a look. It's still a little bit in progress. So let's see other things that we could ask Copilot. Oh, and actually, let's ask Copilot if um, something within the content of these Word documents, um, just to see how it would look different from um, before indexing to after indexing. So let's say what, oh, <laughs> we're just finished <laughs> um, indexing everything. So great, let's refresh everything again. And let's give it a try. OK, so we have user manuals and we have discounts. So let's uh, first ask, what are the safety 
instructions for microwave ovens. Let's see. It's retrieving the data. Oh, the safety instructions for microwave ovens include the following. Read instructions. Use microwave oven only for its intended purpose and all those good things. And then you can see here that it is fetching the information in the right place. So demo, microwave oven user manual. Great. Are there discounts available for microwave ovens? Hmm. Let's take a look. Yes, there is a promotion that offers 40% discount on microwave ovens. Note how there's they it can understand the 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 semantics around discount and promotion because of the alt text. All right, let's take a look at um, a question just to fetch information from the dishwasher. So, what are the dishwasher's modes? Let's see. Different modes available are quick mode, eco mode, normal, and heavy duty. Great. Everything seems to be computing just fine. Let's add, uh, I believe it's the last piece of knowledge for today. So we have here the warranty. Now, I created this as in a PDF versus Word because as I'm building more dishwashers or microwave ovens, thinking that I'm a retail seller, I want to make sure that I keep these documents up to date um, and I'm including the latest models within this Word document. For PD, for the warranty, I maybe want to have just one document that it's locked and it's not editable, or editable um, so I can have all the information around warranties in just a single document. So I'm using PDF, uploading it, and it's going to index. And once it's done, adding the file directly to the agent, and while we're waiting it for it to be indexed, we are going to take a look at what that document looked like. It's very fairly simple. It's just, and I've, I've used uh, just Copilot just to generate this data, making sure that it's very simple. So I have here home appliances warranty guide. I have introduction, general warranty information, and then appliance specific warranty details. And this has all of the different um, products that are uh, mentioned in the demo product catalog. So there's a match. So we can see here refrigerator and air conditioner and what is the warranty period for each product, the coverage and exclusions, um, which is very helpful as a user and user interacting with an agent to go to this one single place and just have all these questions. And that's actually one of the main advantages for an end user is to be able to go to the single source and not having to go through, through multiple clicks, um, selecting the type of product to find the, the perfect model to then get the information at the end of the day. I just need to ask one quick question. I have this model, I'm reaching to the agent, and I just want to retrieve like, what are the things that I need to look out when I'm managing or maintaining my home appliance? Um, from a maker perspective, as you can see, it's just very easy and I could have uploaded multiple files at the same time. Indexing is fairly quick. It just depends on the size and complexity of data. And um, so we want to keep that in mind. But overall, it's just a great way to interact, to host multiple types of data, host multiple um, types of information for those end users at the end of the day. Now, actually, while it's in indexing, uh, let's see if I can be fast enough and beat um, the, the, the system. Now, one thing I want to note is that in both user manuals for dishwasher and microwave ovens, I do have a little section on warranty. But we can see, as it's mentioned here, the references. We'll see if it's going to fetch the information to that PDF or those Word documents. So what is the warranty for microwave oven? Ah, missed my interrogation mark. But I, it's good because Copilot knows. And so the microwave oven is covered by one year limited warranted, warranty. Um, and I know that this is fetching information for from the user manual document. But we see that it's ready for indexing. So let's refresh. I can copy paste the question here. We'll refresh. We'll go back to the knowledge tab so you can see. And what is the warranty for microwave oven? Retrieving, thinking. 
The warranty for microwave oven typically covers defects and immaterials and work, uh, workmanship under normal use. Oh, great. It's fetching information from all over these. Um, how long does the warranty last for microwave ovens? Let's see. Typically one to two years. Okay. What about, since this includes other products, what about keyboards? Hmm, let's see. Ooh, typically one to two years. Are all of those the same? Mm, is there any warranty that lasts, uh, lasts more than two years? Take a look. Typically, it's one to two years, and we could check the demo warranty and my grave um, oven user manual. So that is it. Um, I can quickly recap what we've learned today. Um, you can use Excel, and this in this case, we use Excel to track the product type and selling prices. We uh, used Word with images to keep up with the latest discounts. We used Word just to keep with, uh, up with the user manuals up to date and PDF to track the different warranties per product. Um, from a maker perspective, it accepts any text-based text file like PDF, Word, Excel. You can actually leverage contain images within those documents. You can add uh, multiple files at the same time. Each file can be as big as 512 megabytes. And files become part of the agent. And so it's you, you it does support uh, for end users. They don't have to be authenticated in order to access the data that's in those files. So it's a good alternative um, for other knowledge sources that you like SharePoint, for instance, that use security measures in place, which it has pros and cons just like files. And so it's just a way to complement each other um, just to have that access. For end users, it's quickly accessible um, for specific information without having multiple clicks. Only one point of contact for all of these different scenarios, which is great. They don't have to locally download data unless they actually choose to, um, which they would go to the website and they can, uh, which currently is a scenario, they have to go to the website and download the data. And they don't have to be authenticated uh, for that organization to retrieve the data.